Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about a huge update which could see billions of transactions being authorized on Hedera. So on the 1st of July, the co-founder of Hedera, Mance Harmon, appeared on the Kitco News YouTube channel where he provided details in regards to a number of developments Hedera is currently involved in. So during his appearance on the show, he provided details in regards to how Hedera could be at the center of bridging Web 2 and Web 3 infrastructure. And he also provided details in regards to the new partnership Hedera has recently entered into. For investors to understand is that there's a confluence of technologies that are wrapped up in Web 3.0. There is the, the bottom layer which we represent, Hedera represents, it, what's what we call layer one protocols, these distributed consensus pro, or decentralized consensus protocols. And then there's tokenization that sits on top of that. And then there's this world of DeFi or decentralized finance. When you take something like a supply chain use case and combine it with the elements of DeFi and tokenization, what you end up with is something that one of our council members today, Avery Dennison, is a council member with a platform today called uh, Atma that's tracking 26 billion items through a supply chain. And they just announced that each one of those items is going to have a digital twin in the form of a token. That token is designed for economic activity. As these widgets flow through the supply chain, their tokens can interface with DeFi and programmatically, as part of this uh, development process, production process, they can do things like get capital loans programmatically. Uh, they can, as they flow through the supply chain, they can get product insurance in a DeFi context. Later on, when they get sold off to distributors, uh, or you know, further down the supply chain, they will exchange the tokens that are associated with the widgets that are being developed, call them sneakers, for example. Yeah. And they'll take those tokens and programmatically they'll interface with, with a DeFi bank, a, a you know, Web 3.0 bank, and factor their accounts receivable. They, the AR, the accounts receivable, will be a token itself. They'll use tokenization with this new DeFi infrastructure to set up programmatic finance in a way that is far more efficient, frees up cash flow. Everything in the world that you see and touch, all products and services, are going to have a digital twin. We're going to live in a tokenized world. What does tokenization mean for the company's bond? So as detailed by Harmon, the Hedera Governing Council member Avery Dennison's subsidiary organization Atma.io is set to be integrated and incorporated into Hedera's network. So the direct incorporation of Atma.io's frameworks into Hedera's network is set to go live in July of this year. So Avery Dennison already has a strong affiliation and link to Hedera, where the organization is a Hedera Governing Council member. So this sees Avery Dennison directly possessing a Hedera node. And as a result, the organization directly contributes to provide a consensus to the overarching Hedera consensus service. So as part of the direct initiative between Hedera and Atma.io, this collaboration will see Atma.io logging and verifying billions of items and transactions which arise on its platform directly on Hedera. So Atma.io is mainly centered around providing cloud storage offerings and infrastructure for a number of organizations around the world, where the organization specializes in providing supply chain actions and activities for a number of organizations. So Atma.io's frameworks in instances surrounding supply chain actions has seen over 22 billion items listed on its platform at a given time. And this is coupled with over 300 plus items being listed on the platform per second. So the benefits provided by Atma.io, which has seen a significant significant number of items being listed on its platform coincides with 5,000 plus organizations and global factories participating in the utility of Atma.io. So the direct collaboration and integration of Atma.io's frameworks into Hedera's network will bring about further benefits to Atma.io's frameworks and offerings, especially in terms of its scalability and its immutability, where items currently listed on Atma.io consist of apparel, retail goods, food and healthcare segments. So 
So the active logging and verification of actions surrounding the logging of such goods and items on Atba.io and an extension Hedera will harness the benefits provided by Hedera's tokenization service, where the organization will harness the benefits provided by the cost effectiveness attached to the token minting of items. So the tokenization of certain goods will mean that individual users or organizations who use Atba.io can track goods within the supply chain more seamlessly and actively due to such goods being being tokenized. So the tokenization of such goods indicates the bridging between the physical world to the digital world and this indicates the utility and implementation of Web3 infrastructure. So the active bridging between the physical world and the digital world will greatly improve sustainability and traceability capacities among a number of stakeholders involved in the Atma.io Hedera collaboration and development. So AV Dennison and Atma.io may have turned to Hedera over other DLT offerings most notably due to the innate qualities and benefits attached to Hedera, where Hedera offers high TPS, where the network can potentially process over 10,000 transactions at a given time. And this is coupled with the cost effective nature surrounding the utility of Hedera's network, where the network can process transactions at fees amounting to $0.0001 per transaction. So the cost effective and scalable nature surrounding the utility of Hedera's network will mean that the logging and storage of billions of items on Atba.io and an extension Hedera will be validated at scalable rates and more cost effectively due to it now being plugged and based on Hedera. So again, these are the main reasons as to why Atba.io turned to Hedera over other DLT offerings and frameworks. So another reason as to why the organization may have based themselves on Hedera over other DLTs is due to the benefits associated with Hedera's tokenization service, where it only costs $1 to create an NFT or fungible token at a given time. So the cost effectiveness and the flat fee attached to the tokenization of given goods puts Hedera ahead over other DLT offerings and networks, where the tokenization of goods or the utility of tokens as a whole are a lot more expensive and the fees attached to such actions are determined by the amount of traffic occurring on a given network at a given time. So this will mean that will be harder for organizations or individual entities to keep track of their marginal cost more effectively if they turn to other DLTs rather than Hedera. So this means that supply chain actions will be more cost effective, scalable and more transparent. So another reason as to why Atma.io may have directly plugged their offerings into Hedera is due to the other intrinsic benefits and aims put forward by the organization where Atma.io is vying to be ESG compliant in the near future. So ESG compliance is centered around reducing the need for carbon usage. So Atma.io's desire to be ESG compliant and reducing the need for carbon could be implemented and enabled through the benefits provided by Hedera, where the Hedera network is completely carbon negative. So the carbon negative nature surrounding Hedera's network will mean that organizations who wish to harness the benefits provided by Atma.io in instances surrounding supply chain actions can do so without excessive usage of carbon. And this is coupled again with the intrinsic benefits associated with Hedera in instances surrounding its cost effectiveness and its scalability. So with the number of intrinsic qualities and benefits attached to Hedera and with potentially billions of actions and transactions being authorized in this use case alone, this could be quite beneficial for the overarching Hedera network and for HBAR token holders, as the logging of goods and the observation of goods within the supply chain will be validated and authorized through the utility of HBAR. So increases in the utility of HBAR in this sense will lead to increases in the demand for HBAR. And as a result, the price of HBAR may see synonymous increases, especially over the long run. And as more organizations and entities harness the benefits provided by Atma.io. So with the number of intrinsic qualities and benefits attached to the utility of Hedera's network, more organizations may harness the benefits provided by Atma.io or even more supply chain organizations may base themselves on Hedera. And as a result, Hedera could continue to be the go-to option for enterprise utility for years to come. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Are you bullish on Atma.io basing themselves on Hedera? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.